today I thought I was going to show you a really cool place, but the conditions aren't the best. The place I'm, I was going to go to is in the old town of Oslo, or old part of Oslo, but it requires a sunny day and it's overcast today, so instead we are going to try a brand new location, a brand new metro station. That is my current photo project. I'm going to take you with me, both you, me and my girlfriend. She is holding the X-T4 now, my weapon of choice. It's a very good street photography camera and she's going to join as well. But I'm going to attach this to the X-T4 for some POV action. We are going to check this location out together. So let's go. Today proved to be more of a challenge to photograph, with mostly empty platforms and exits. And I like to have more options with human elements to complement my images, like in this one. And the day we shot this was also a public holiday. In other words, very few people in and around this station. After several successful sessions last week with high contrast images, I was almost feeling impatient for not getting the photos I had in mind. Maybe it was the weather, or a lack of creative mojo that day. Who knows? But I ended up teaching Ilda a few things about slow shutter speeds. So we tried that out. I dig that Ilda wants to come out on these mini photographic adventures. And maybe we'll do another video with her street photography. Let us know what you think in the comments. And if that happens, you should definitely subscribe to stay up to date on future videos. <laughs> I think I prefer to have these high contrast images on sunny days, but uh, it is part of the adventure. So we decided, um, or Ilda had a great idea on going to two more metro stops that I think could look cool as well. And I haven't been there. So why not? It is a overcast day. Anyways, well, let's go. Not much going on here either, apart from a few more shots of Ilda that was getting increasingly impatient. She had after all been helping me all day, filming some stuff for another video in another location I visited before, that I think is much more interesting for street photography. And you can only take X amount of escalator and empty hallway photos before it gets out of fashion. But that's the thing with street photography and testing new locations. You just never know what to expect. Weather, architecture, time of day, is it crowded, is it not crowded? Each of these factors makes up so many variations when combined. And the best thing is to just go there. Test it out, take notes, and maybe come back another day. Those high contrast images on sunny days with cool architecture are by far my favorites. And I can't wait to go back to the location I tried this weekend. Let me know if you'd like a POV immersion video about that. 
and I'll make the video so you can tag along. Boom! That's the end of the video, boys and girls. Um, yeah, well, today wasn't the best day, but at least I got to cross off a few stations that I'm not, not going back to, probably. Um, I don't know. The first one, Tayen, that was alright. It's an old straight station. But I think there's just only so much you can get when you don't have any light or potential for uh, to get those high contrast images. So, I'll end it here at the Stuhl station. I've been here before, where I got some really interesting shots. So I'm going back here another day. But for now, as always, do subscribe to my channel if you're into street photography. Mini adventures with your camera. And I'll see you in the next one. Let me know what you think of the images in the comments and uh, see you soon. Thank you so much for watching and here are my favorite images from the session. Just a couple of hours out and about in Tøyen, Nydalen and Storo metro stations. Let me know which ones you liked the best and I'll see you in the next video. Also remember to subscribe, like and share this video. Cheers! Bye bye! Thank <laughs> you.